cultural ex is it's the Arts Council of Luxembourg, meaning that we support the artists in developing their careers abroad. We give them financial support and advice on strategic development, uh, connecting them with the key professionals in the within the industry, uh, promoters, managers, booking agency whatever the, the global picture of the, the music industry to yet yeah, just to help them developing their career. And, uh, actually, it's, it's quite huge in Luxembourg because I, for example, I, I only manage the jazz world department and we have around like 20 top artists. I mean, it's really small countries, so 20 top artists is already <laughs> a great number. And comparing to like pop music that gets the pop, rock, electro, hip hop, etc., they have the same amount of uh, musicians. So um, for all the, the different styles. So I must say that jazz is, is really a great scene here. That we have really good musicians and dynamic and really open-minded also to to do collaborations with different artists and also different uh, in different genres music styles so yeah it's really dynamic yeah uh, actually we challenge a lot of <laughs> things because we have a lot of challenges because we are a very small country, as you said, and we are in between really big countries <laughs> and like uh, France and Germany, notably, which are really, really dynamic and famous for their music uh, artists in every jazz and also in, in jazz, of course. So, um, yeah, that, that's a big challenge to try to get some a space for Luxembourgish artists inside this European um, music industry, which is really crowded <laughs> with a lot of great artists, good musicians. So, 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 so that, that's not easy. That's why sometimes it's also good to, um, for Luxembourgish artists to go a little bit further, like uh, Eastern Europe and of course Asia and Middle East. And we are really really glad to start these collaborations with you, with you because it's an area of the world that where we have never been really present yet like a bit like in in egypt but it's not really the same so yeah we, we are really glad to start and uh, yeah as you said we are two small countries so that's that's also good <laughs> if we can try to gather to promote jazz how, how we can because maybe we are facing also the same challenge. Yeah, and, and actually we also had our first event, online event, uh, mid-March. Mid so that was the first shot or so. And I mean, thanks to that event, actually, we, we start collaborating. So I think it, it, it's bringing, um, yeah, good dynamism and it, it facilitates it also collaboration with people you wouldn't have met otherwise because it's too far and <laughs> we are not used to go to the same events maybe so you, we wouldn't have never have the chance to to meet otherwise so it, it, it's facilitating a lot of uh, connections i would say so um, tonight you will have claire parsons playing she's a luxembourgish english uh, jazz singer She's really fresh and dynamic, so <laughs> I hope she will bring good music tonight. And also Benoit Martini band, a more uh, rock jazz band, really, <laughs> really uh, extravagant music, and, and yeah. And then Greg Lamy, like the power guitar player here in Luxembourg really famous too, playing with uh, Flavio Bartro, really great trumpeter from Italy, actually, for a new project. So, yeah, I hope that uh, you will enjoy the shows, <laughs> like the audience, the public will enjoy also. And... Well, I think it's really special. It seems really surreal for me.
So normally when you play concert, you're in the setting, you have uh, the people uh, with you and you get a very direct feedback on, uh, on your music or on the ambience of a concert. And of course, when it's a live stream, uh, it's different. You just have to trust the process and just um, let things unfold by themselves. So it's a, it's a nice way of letting your music go and, and just let people uh, react or uh, work with it the way they want to. I'm not... Uh, mm. <laughs> no, in that region, I haven't had any exposure, especially not like in a live stream. Um, so when I got your email, it was the most strange sensation. <laughs> to say, really? They want to play my music in Bahrain? That's really strange. But uh, super honored. I, I looked at your festival lineup and because I didn't know your festival before. Right. So of course I got really interested and ah, just amazing the way you work with uh, promoting your artists, how you promote local artists but also are happy also in a, how you integrate um, artists from all over the world into your programmation. The way it's done, it's really, really exceptionally well done. And I, I couldn't be more proud to, to be part of it. So I've had my uh, education mainly in Brussels, so uh, in Belgium. So that um, I have had a very brilliant teacher from Brussels. And I think he's been one of my main inspirations over the last few years. His um, worldview, his view on music and on jazz, he, I just really, uh, I hope that I can integrate his ideas into what I'm doing. So his philosophy, his philosophy is basically that you should just sing your heart out, no matter what. So I hope this is something maybe the people can feel in my music or that they feel that my music is supposed to be very sincere and just come from the bottom of my heart. So there's no... Um, not more than to it than this. I just try to be as true to myself as I can. And uh, if people like it, I'm very happy. If they don't, I hope I can uh, recognize why this is the case. But uh, yeah, this is basically one of my main philosophies. You should never strive to be something else than yourself. So. <laughs>
Yes, of course, of course, yes, of course, more than once, you know, so, and I went to your internet site to check out a little bit what, um, what's the program and everything, so it's nice, nice place. You know? Yes, I think it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to, uh, to, to show what we are doing, you know, that's the most important thing, because you, you want to share your music with all the different continents, with all the different people, and I think this music, like other musics, uh, are beautiful because they they get the people together. I think, and that's what we are right now doing. You know, I mean, you are on the opposite of the world, and I'm here in Luxembourg, you in Bahrain, and we are talking together. and And I think it's a beautiful thing. That's that's music. Yeah. Yes. I mean, influences and and inspirations is easy to to say. I mean, I I, I took my inspiration like. Oh, many many years ago, I, I was listening to the great guitar player uh, like Wes Montgomery, Jim Hall. Then I went to John Scofield, Pat Metheny, and then later on I went to uh, the, the the last one, a little bit more. I did Kurt Rosenwinkel, and then now I'm doing my own and um, my influential. I mean, I, I listen a lot to other musicians. I mean that's that's a really big influence on me. Um, uh, I, I listen to Ambrose. I, I went to a concert last year, not during the pandemic. But I mean, it's it's. Um, I think the other musicians are really a big part of it, you know. And um, and then talking about my style, it's very difficult <laughs> because <laughs> I think that's something um, really difficult to say. But I think what. Um, uh, what the reviewers say is they said about my playing that it's kind of modern, modern playing. It's a mix of tradition and modern, my own modern style. I don't know. I played with a Ut player uh, two years ago here in Luxembourg and he's from Iraq. And um, so I don't know, but uh, I'm quite curious about mixing different culture, different instrument, different uh, players uh, with my own playing. Yes, of course. Yeah.
the band exists since 15 years and it's it's my band that's why it's called the Benoit Martini band and um, in the in the 15 years we released uh, six albums and uh, we played a lot mainly in Europe but also could go to Japan once Venezuela and um, and yeah I write all the music in the band and of course I get a lot of input from the other guys uh so yeah it's um it's hard to put those 15 years in just one sentence but uh, basically that's it my uh, the band is uh, as i compose the music it's inspired by all the things that i like and i like a lot of different music mainly i'm coming mainly out of rock music like the old stuff led zeppelin jimmy hendrix and uh also jazz music uh so yeah from miles davis to charles mingus all of those things and uh, but there's a lot of good music everywhere so uh, you can also I can also draw, draw inspiration from classical music or from uh, country music even you know sometimes so and all these influences are a bit in the band and uh, that explains also why the albums style wise they are a variation sometimes sometimes they're a bit more rock sometimes they're a bit more jazz uh, the latest one is now uh, more inspired by free jazz and uh and psychedelic stuff and soundscapes uh and yeah that's the songs from that album we will present at your showcase but indeed we will present the more rhythmical pieces you know the one uh is more a jazz rock piece and the other one is a bit more funky so uh yeah and uh we tried to to go on tour last year of course that didn't work but now we try to hold on and just get attention with the new album and try yeah, to get playing, for example, in Bahrain on the virtual showcase. Yeah. So um, the whole cosmic journey came from the idea to uh, to extend the band and to add any number of guests that we want, because normally the band is a quintet. Uh, most of us met at the conservatory in Rotterdam. Yeah, as I said, 15 years ago. And but as the band exists so long, I wanted to do some special projects and add some musicians. Uh, and so that started. And I want to do a, a program that's a bit as I was getting, going on an exploring journey with the band, like exploring new sounds, new musicians, uh, new directions. I thought it's a bit uh, like like a cosmic trip. You go like like the, the Starship Enterprise, you know, it goes into unknown worlds and sees what what is there to to find and especially the latest uh, album the moons of uranus there we really i think managed to to really explore uh yeah soundscapes and we had a lot of musicians on board we had some uh classical musicians together with uh, free jazz musicians together with yeah with us with some more uh also one more rock musician so um yeah i'm a big fan of all this sci-fi sci stuff so to recreate that in music a bit and to go explore you know what what can all these musicians do and and uh what sounds can we find that was the that was the idea of the whole cosmic thing of course inspired by i i i got a lot into sun ra and Pharaoh sanders yeah. uh of course Jimi hendrix also always talked about other planets and uh frank zappa the whole german krautrock scene so it's all these psychedelic uh influences that that i wanted to combine with the whole free jazz and and yeah all the things that that i like